Yes, the rugby league season that knows no end. In 2019, it's time for some fun. Off the back of all the drama and the controversy of the Telstra Premiership Final Series, we're here at Bankware Stadium. Thank you for joining us. We are live tonight on Fox League and again tomorrow for the Downer World Cup Nines, a format at the international level which hasn't been played since 1997. But it's back and bigger than ever this season. Warren Smith, along with Corey Parker, Brett Finch and Andy Raymond to bring you the first of the games tonight. Here are the rules if you are unfamiliar with nine's action. Nine players on the field, naturally. 13 players in the squad with four on the bench. Nine minute halves and a two minute half time as well. A quick break for the players. 12 teams in three pools. The top two in pool A progress to the semis. That's Australia and New Zealand's pool. The winners of pool B and C also progress to the semi-finals. And we have the four women's teams in the one pool. The top two will play off in the final tomorrow night right here. Tries are worth four points, but if you score in the bonus try zone behind the goalpost, it's five points, Finchie. 25 second shot clock for drop kick conversions as well. And uh, golden try extra time. If we have a draw at full time, we'll play an extra five minutes. Golden try wins it. No penalty goals, no field goals in extra time. They don't count. The scoring side kicks off. There's a 20 40 rule as well as the normal 40 20. And if you get binned, you'll be having a breather for three minutes. <laughs> Apart from that, it's just like a normal game of footy. Excitement plus, isn't it? What a way to start the weekend. International nines. We talk about X factors, we talk about speed. We talk about class. It's going to be on show here this afternoon. And it will be on show with our very first game of the event. Can't wait for the action here tonight. It will be France versus Lebanon to get things underway. Some inexperienced players getting a chance to show what they can do in both teams at this level. Certainly a good crowd building here at Bankwest Stadium. And the Lebanon team, we saw them in action at Leichhardt Oval during the middle of the season, taking on Fiji. They were soundly beaten on that occasion in the mid-season test. We'll see how they go here at the shorter form of the game, Finchie. Yeah, it's a good experience for some of these young fellas playing at Bankwest Stadium and against some of the best players in the game. So it should be an exciting weekend, Was It's Lebanon running out. There are some familiar names and faces in this Lebanon team, mostly the Robinson brothers, both Reese and Travis, who've played for the Cedars before, of course. We'll see them in action. The twins, plenty of NRL experience between them. Certainly in the case of Reese, much travel through his NRL career. The interchange for them there as well. Garaz, some youngsters getting a chance on the big stage here this weekend. The famous colours of the Cedars. Their participation was in doubt for some time, but they've sorted out some off-field issues for the moment. And we'll see how they fare against the much more experienced France lineup, which is, uh, has a smattering of players who play, of course, for the Catalan Dragons in the Super League in the UK and France, and also players from the the Betfred Championship, basically the Super League reserve grade, and also the Elite One Premiership back in France as well for the likes of Carcassonne and others. There is the lineup for the French. Great to see them back here in Australia and we'll see what they can offer here first up. Some entertainers amongst them, no doubt. Marguerite there on screen. What an athlete he is. Big, athletic, strong. It'll be interesting to see how they go about the structure of the nines. We should see how the lungs go after about five <laughs> minutes of running around. Cos, a few weeks off for majority of the players. Some individuals have enjoyed themselves yeah. more than others, Finchie. As they do. Ready to go. Stay behind, thanks, fellas. We are ready for action here at the Downer. World Cup nines at Bankwest Stadium. It'll be the Cedars. Lebanon who get first use of it. And they'll bring it forward through Jaden L. Jack, who will play it here just outside the 20. Nine aside. We'll see what the tactics are. Seen in previous iterations of the nines back in club level, of course, in Auckland. The more you play it like a normal game of footy, the better you go ordinarily. 
try and throw it around from sideline to sideline. You get yourselves in trouble. And, of course, you only have five tackles per set as opposed to six as well. A spread here back to the middle of the field for Lebanon, who take it just into French territory. Down to that left-hand side, Reese Robinson, a pass, and then towed forward by Travis. But he's kicked it out on the full. It was a nice defensive set from the French to start this game. Anytime you get the opportunity to go from centre field and split the defence is going to be key here. And France get their first Move. use gun, of gun. the ball. Played here just inside their own half. And the dummy half by Rick Costa coming out to this left-hand side. And a strong carry here to take them inside the 40. Costa again waiting at dummy half with a play the ball there from Ada Romano. Hands out here to this left edge, Marguerite. Plenty of speed coming back to the oh. middle there and then busting a couple of tackles. Even on players falling off a number of efforts there and Marguerite was almost away. But Thierry comes across to that right-hand side through the hands there of Artem Moore. Back on the inside now, a chance for Jufre. will take it inside the 10. Only about eight metres out from the Lebanon line. One more play here. Slow play the ball again from De Costa. Put it in the air, a kick out wide. Marguerite just won't have the speed to track that down here at Mike Acevo Stadium. Yeah, not a good end there for France, but nice set. I can change of angles. Could be key here too as the teams get tired late in each half. Andy Raymond is with us on the sideline. Perfect condition, Danny, for this one. It certainly is, was. And whilst it isn't a sellout in the grandstand just yet, it's a sellout in the dressing rooms around all the TV monitors. Some of the game's great minds may be starting to second guess a little bit and having a look at what the oppositions are all doing. I think we're going to see the game of nines evolve a great deal over the next 24 hours. Jaden L. Jack trying to get back to his feet there to play the ball, put his foot on the sideline, but as we well know, you can do that in regaining your feet to play the ball. Travis Robinson playing, and it comes back to the middle. It'll be Reese who puts it high in the air. Some pressure on the back three here of the French, and what a take that was. A tackle in midair. It'll be a penalty, but a great grab there by Paul Marcon. It had to be made, didn't it? He was under all sorts of pressure from the Cedars. It's a great take. The ability to have middle forwards playing before the line is going to be key also. Is Rick Stone on, on the sideline. We saw Kalashe go to the middle of the field and just tip on one of his teammates and just isolates defenders, creates some momentum as the French come now to the left. There's Rick Stone, the Newcastle Knights coach. Charge of the Lebanese team here this weekend. Vancouver Stadium, underway in the World Cup Nines. Great to see this form of the game back. To be in Perth in February next year for the Club Nines as well. A big step off the right foot there by Arthur Morg, who comes to the ground, loses the ball, picked up there and knocked on between the legs. Kane Kalachi as well. It'll be a, a mutual infringement and a play the ball there with Lebanon going at them. John Paul Nora play it here on his own side of halfway. Still no score midway through this opening half between France and Lebanon. Here is Travis Robinson. Come back. Set at his right hand side. Reese Robinson doing plenty of ball playing in the middle of the field and doing some kicking, of course. An experienced man played with the Queen Beanne Kangaroos in 2019. Chance here for. Josh Riz to keep it alive. He does so through the hands of Reese Robinson. They go wider still. Great tackle. Chance to give it to Travis Robinson, but they take the tackle instead. Now here is Reese back to Travis. A chance down the short side. They'll score. Bilal Malbani puts Lebanon on the board here in the nine. Yeah, the Robinson brothers too smart. Reese Robinson looked to play open, went back down that short side. He looked to do it. A set before down on this other side of the field, but this time he catches France out. Scores the first try of the World Nines. They're just doubling up their play. Just asking defender to do double the amount of work. You spot on, Finchie. Look to the open side. Come back down that short side. The brothers. 
They were onto it though, the French. They stopped them from getting round to that bonus try zone. And the conversion is successful as well. The Laumau Barney playing the Tigers and the West team in the Canterbury Cup this season. Scored eight tries in 14 games for them. Originally signed by the Bulldogs. Moved to the Sea Eagles. He's bouncing around looking for a chance and put himself on the score oh. sheet here in the nines. And then a short kickoff angled towards the sideline. And Lebanon will get the ball back here as that one bounced just inside the chalk. A fantastic kick now. The Cedars are on the attack. Some fresh interchange onto the field. Move now. Jalal Bazaz will play it. Midfield, 20 out from the French line. Travis Robinson trying to get to the outside there of Dufre, keeping it alive. He wasn't stopped there in the tackle. Comes back to Eli Alzakem. Now keep it going through Josh Risk. They'll play it here, 10 metres out. Chance to go back to back for Lebanon. Dummy half, long pass again. Travis Robinson. Here is the try scorer, Marbani. Staying alive again. He's in for a double in the space of 60 seconds. And Lebanon lead France 10 points to nil. Yeah, any opportunity to get back to back sets in this type of format is always going to be a positive. This is a fantastic kickoff. Just gave Lebanon tremendous field position. They go back to back, Cos. And it's the same man again. Down that left hand edge, bit of feet. Some wonderful footwork, but it's just been a little bit of second phase and obviously under fatigue. The French that have really found it difficult. It must be really hard to defend. I know I felt isolated when 13 players were on the field, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Let alone nine. I needed more defense, not less. How'd you go in sevens then? Awful. 12 nothing here. Another short restart and up there again. Mahbani almost came down with it. The man of the moment for Lebanon. And it's hard to work out who might have been the favourites coming into this game. You'd have thought, if anything, France, yeah. the experience they have with the handful of Super League players, and especially the Catalan Dragons in this game. Well, here they are suddenly trailing a team full of SG Ball, Jersey Flag, and Canterbury Cup players, 12 points to nil. Chance here with just on 60 seconds remaining in this first half. Nine minutes aside, the ball goes in the air from Artem Morg, who put Robinson under pressure. It went off his hands or backwards six off more. France, and they'll get six more tackles. Now, let's Is it? <laughs> let's not go there, Finchie. Great opportunity here for the French. Out to the left-hand side, they come way to this edge where it's Arthur Romano who tries to burrow his way in behind the tackle there of El Jack. And they play it eventually from close range. Grubber there, oh, great right. hands. They're going to say it was knocked on. It looked like it was a great grab there by Adam Risk in want to tap and go here. Ten seconds. Another five tackles. A oh, chance for one. Marguerite stepping into a hole. He gets across the line. I don't know that he got it down, though. There is no video referee. And Matt Checken on top of the spot says knock on. And at the break, it's Lebanon who lead France 12 points to nil. Look at it again, he goes close to scoring here and loses it just as he was about to plant it down. Great work by Jalal Bazaz. When we take a look at that, let's go downstairs to Lara Pitt standing by with a special guest. England superstar George Williams, welcome to Australia. How have you enjoyed the build-up to the inaugural World Cup Nines and how are you enjoying the Aussie hospitality? Yeah, it's been good so far. Um, the, the weather's definitely better than England. It's about four degrees at home and raining, so um, yeah, pleasure to be here. Um, looking forward to the nines and uh, can't wait to get started, really. Well, Raiders fans will be watching on with uh, eagerness at home and here in the crowd. You haven't played nines before. What are you expecting? What do you think you can produce out there? Um, yeah, like I said, I've never played it before, but um, obviously it's going to be really fast and tense and um, hopefully they can see what I'm all about. I like to run the ball and hopefully I can do that today. Good luck against Wales. Cheers, thank you. Raiders halfback for 2020. Is George Williams. Mine, I was in Wigan, young George coming through. He's certainly delivered on his potential. He had them when I was there. He's had a terrific career for Wigan and now heading off to the Raiders. So another another pommy for the 
Raiders. Didn't lead him astray, Finchie. No, I certainly didn't, mate. I wasn't there long enough to get to him. There you go. Interestingly, George Williams has never met Ricky Stewart. They've only spoken on the phone a couple of times to work out if Ricky, I guess, and the recommendation of Peter Mulholland, their recruitment manager down there at Canberra. And they thought they've got a good one in George Williams. I guess we'll get a look at him, of course, again over the course of the weekend. If you haven't seen him in action before in the Super League with Wigan, and see what he can offer next year for the Raiders, who went so close in 2019. Yeah, they'll look to build on a great season for the Raiders. Their challenges to back that up. Stay behind, please. Here we go, the second half between France and Lebanon, and the French in a oh. hole here, and even more of a hole now with Louis Geoffrey knocking ball, it on and giving ball. Lebanon a chance wait, wait, to go wait, on wait, the wait, attack wait, and make wait. this an imposing scoreline with just over eight minutes remaining in the game, of course. What an opening this would be to the tournament. Oh, let go. And dummy half, Josh Risk looking his left hand side taking them on himself with the French defenders okay, in the middle of the now, field falling for nothing there. James Romanus, he has a dig himself, but once again, now, can't find a way through the French middle third defense. He's out of that right hand side, Travis Robinson will keep it going. Jean Paul Nora is out there and stays in the field of play, but only just one more play, play five right here. Travis Robinson feigns the kick, rubbers for himself, chasing through. He forced a goal line dropout, and at this stage, eight minutes to play, leading by 12. That's all he needs yeah, to do. Yeah, re really nice little touch there from Travis Robinson. The key is to keep the ball in your hands. He does so here through a nice little kick. Does the French go for a long one? And it was Robinson who goes back to clean it up and will bring it back. In the French territory here, and they'll keep it alive. Nora almost the way there, but grabbed just outside the 30. Thank you. Man Harajli gets the dummy half. Coming through the middle of the field. Kalachi, they put it down here, though. Kalal Marbani, who scored those two tries in the first half, makes the knock on and gives France a chance to catch their breath and try and do something in attack. It was a great defensive read from Marcon. Had to come up and make a play, and he did. And the French fly run out the back. Release now. Was we, afraid. Was we seeing the NRL interchanges made to the defensive side in touch footy? It's the attacking side that makes the interchange at the moment. The game too fast for the French. They are at the moment probably a set behind on their interchanges, really battling to try and get a flow of the game. Chance on this right hand side. Suddenly, Andy is a keen Maludi. Keeps it alive and. We'll go down to just outside. Got to go left. 30. They are set there. They're fairly flat, though, on that left edge. Left. Dufresne pushing up in support here of Charles Buzanak, who was just about away. Quick play the ball. Dufresne, oh. oh. dummy half. No. Comes to Kene, who puts a chip in towards oh. the A juggle, a catch, and Paul Martin has scored for France. You say that again, Mark Kong. Mark Kong. Well, they did say they had a five-man overlap on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> they picked the wrong way, but they got the job done. Nice little kick here. There's three defenders on two attackers. And Mark Kong. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. I love it, Frenchy. <laughs> Terrific it's a kick. Catch. Juggle the conversion attempts. You see it in the corner of the screen. Misses to the left-hand side. It stays an eight-point lead for Lebanon here. Still plenty of time for France to come back. At least send this to extra time, if not win it in regulation. But they'll need to be good from here. Supply the drop start for the kickoff once again. It was a short one. Not short enough, though, to make a contest of it. And it's Ahmad Harajli. Who's a, he hails from Michigan, Harajli. He's played for the USA in sevens rugby. Better known as a rugby sevens player. Here he is, getting a chance. Bankwest Stadium. A long way from Michigan, playing for Lebanon against France, and they're on top. Travis Robinson, out of dummy half, oh, humming out of the line. Oh. Zaria there looking for a shot. They only saw him just in time. Some numbers here. Marbani again ends up with it. He'll play it just outside the 30. Play number five, the last here. Robinson comes to risk. He runs a long way before they got to him. He keeps it alive eventually. Adam Risk, the brothers combining. 
Now, Reese Robinson, oh. a kick there. There was a chance for Adam Risk to end up with it instead. It's Marguerite who high drink. steps Let's his go. way out of the in goal. There'll be a knock on against Lebanon, and France will restart from the 20. This time through, Reese Robinson, they've put their footprint on this game. The Robinson brothers, as the French come left. Help! Let go! Marguerite, isn't he an athlete? He's a big boy. Boy, oh boy. And 197 go, centimetres. Gavin Marguerite. Work their way through the middle here. And Buzanak, who will mark, take mate. it back into Lebanon territory. Yes. Mason Vittiri the there mark, waiting at dummy half. Fire. The captain taps and goes. Needs something quickly. Here is a chance on this left-hand side. They keep it going. Good hands by Marguerite. Stays alive oh. with it. Gets away from Nora, who grabs him just by the jersey and drags him down nine metres out from the Lebanon line. It'll be a penalty again given away here by no, Lebanon. No, 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 Perhaps no, a little no, bit of no, gamesmanship no. there. and They can't the take team, the quick tap inside the 10. Well, you should be able to in a ninth game. You sure. think so? And I'll push it forward for the moment. A little settler here to the middle of the field oh. for Jason Batiri, of course. Now. Die hard league followers will know the son of Taz Batiri, who played a couple of seasons with the Bulldogs back in the early 80s. Back to the left hand side again. Marguerite stepping back, wasn't tackled, bounces up, plants it down, and we've got a game now. Marguerite goes in, kick to come, it's 12 points to eight. Yeah, they needed to try in that set of six. Nicely constructed play. It's the man out the back, caught him short for numbers. Marguerite, one on one, that close to the line, too good. He's had a big few minutes, hasn't he, Gavin Marguerite? He come up with a save down in the end goal to get him out of that position. A couple of big runs and now a try. Only by four, plenty of importance on that kick. No good, though. So the short restart once again from halfway. Nice grab there by Harajli, who works it oh, for. Oh, it's What's popping a doing? ball around the corner it might be play on then it was knocked on certainly Knock on, hand over here. he it didn't need to throw the ball he didn't wait, mean wait, to wait, but wait, it was wait, play wait. on off a french player play on <laughs> Ma for oui, Marco. Oui, oui. matt chicken was following that play watching here the pass he said was backwards off france play on Smooth. there and had it sat up here it might have been oh, interesting wait. just a little touch okay. right there Inside two minutes, France try in arrears and almost running themselves into row 14 of Bankwest Stadium. Still numbers to the left, they want to get out there. Was Lara Pitt almost made the tackle there? On Hakeem Maloudi, who was headed to towards Parramatta Station. Yeah, nice. Out wide, oh. Marguerite over his shoulder, got a touch, it's a knock-on. Well, they created the opportunity for Marguerite. Wonderful little pass here. Robertson had come up and in. Marguerite, he needed to catch up, and he had some serious space down that left-hand edge. Come, fellas. Good work. Go one. Rick Stone, certainly the Lebanon coach, and imagine sent the instructions out saying, let's just get now, through mate. our five tackles here, put a kick in off the back of it. And we'll only have perhaps 30 seconds or less to try and defend. Come up with an oh, no. opening win. Another ball out the back, though. I don't know what Rick Stone's <laughs> thinking about that. <laughs> It's going to be a penalty. He won't be too no, 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 unhappy no, no, no. with that. 50 seconds remaining, just under now, and the experienced hand of Travis slow Robinson yeah. Yeah. slow things down and say, we'll kick it for touch. Yes, Trav, you can do that. That'll use up some time on the clock as well. Come back, come back, come, come. Keep coming, fellas. I'll have it from 15 metres out. Oh, a stumble there off the restart for Josh Risk, who will play it here. Only about five metres out. They've barely got 15 seconds to get through here. A couple of hit-ups will do the job. Travis Robinson stepping into space, lost the ball as he went across the line. They need to go, and they'll have one play, France, if they can get to play the ball in in time before the siren sound. In fact, they're going to say ball stripped in goal. It was going to be a goal line dropout. And there's an upset. What a way to kick off the downer. World Cup nines with Lebanon beating France. 12 points to eight.